Hi guys, this is Diane. I'm coming to you today from South Africa. I've been traveling and working in South Africa for the past month and today specifically I am at the Lataba camp um, in Kruger National Park and I have loved my time here. I think you can see some of the camp behind me right now and you know I find that I'm really inspired and excited to get back home um, in the next couple weeks because I have so many new ideas for projects, strategies that I want to put into place that I am excited to share with my team and start to implement and this really got me thinking about the number of business owners that I work with and the number of business owners that I talk to um, and that I come across as I'm networking and I'm meeting new people who have graveyards of projects in their businesses where they're so excited to get started. They start a lot of projects, but they can never quite see them through to completion. Um, or, you know, they have a lot of momentum going and then suddenly the project goes off the rails and they never talk about it with their team again. And, you know, after a couple months, they start to wonder to themselves, hey, I wonder what happened to that project that I gave my team or that I started with my team that they just have no idea what's happened to it or where it stands at that point. And really what I, wanted, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today because when I hear um, a client or a business owner say, oh yeah, I have so many projects that I've started but I've never completed or I have you know, a, just a list of projects that I want to implement but can't seem to get any traction on, my first two questions to them really are, well, what is your communication process around how the project is planned and parceled out to your team? And then the second question is, what is the communication process around the execution of the actual project to your team? First of all, you have to have a process around how the project is approached and planned so that you know what the tasks are and your team also knows what the project is and that they're actually working on it. You would not believe the number of projects that I've started working on where, oh, there was a list of resources, but none of the team members really knew what their role within that project or task was and whether or not it was actually done to satisfaction. So it's very, very important as a first step, you have to have a process around how the project is planned and how people are notified as to what the project is, what they're working towards and what the role in the project is. The second thing is you have to have a communication process around how the project is executed. How are people, how are your team members, how are your resources giving you updates? How are they letting you know whether things are going off the rails? How are they letting you know things are all good? How are they letting you know there's a, you know, a decision point for you to make? A lot of projects go off the rails because no one knows who they're escalating these next step questions to. Um, and they just kind of linger either in a project management tool or an email that we kind of lose track of. And that's where you see a lot of projects, projects kind of fall to the wayside. So it's really key to have a project or a process, I'm sorry, a process around how your team is executing that project and communicating those updates to you so that you know, A, where the project stands and you're not left wondering three months later, like, oh yeah, what happened to that project? And also, um, you know, if there's an escalation need, if, you know, something is going off the rails or, you know, if there's a decision point for you that you can be brought back into the loop in a timely manner and that project maintains the momentum. If you put these two pieces in place, I guarantee you if your, your execution rate will not go to, if not 100%, very close to 100%. So if this resonates with you, drop me a comment, or if you wanna talk about building your own processes around your project execution in your business, drop me a comment. I love hearing from you guys, and I can't wait to talk to you soon. Bye.